Hi students, it's me, an English teacher from school number three in August, Samadova Zulfia. Today, I am going to teach my favorite great fields and my topic is about Children's Day. Let's begin our lesson. When do we celebrate Children's Day? Do you know your rights? This is our pre-reading tasks. Here is our topic about Children's Day. Let's read and understand it. June the 1st is the Children's Day in many countries. We celebrate Children's Day in our country too. Children present their dances and songs to parents and teachers. There are special TV programs for kids on June 1st. On that day, children often visit poor families. They spend time with children and give them presents, candies, and cookies. But in some countries, children are not happy. They don't go to school. They don't have houses or food. They are poor. Now, here are some words, and these words are new for you. Let us read and understand them. Our first word is kindergarten. The definition is a place where kids study. And the translation of this word is bahcha. The second word is native, belonging to one's birth. And the translation of this word to our native land, native language, is dogma. Happiness, feeling of well-being. This word is translated in our language, Hoşbeklik. Concert, a public performance. And the translation of that word is concert. Angry, feeling anger. And the translation of this word is gazapli. Children, we have known that there are many poor children in many countries. Most of them are in Africa, especially in Somalia. And there are many countries that have charity organizations in the world, which serve for those poor, poor people. And I want to ask you, how can you help poor children? If you want to help them, what would you send them? Here are some pictures. Let us look through them. In the first picture, you see books. I think you can send some books for those children in order to help them to study. Our second picture is about donating clothes or toys. Here I would like to say you what is the word donate. Donating means pay vermek, bağışlamak. You can send food too that you see in our the third picture. Okay. As everybody, the children also have some rights. And let's look some of them. And children have these rights. The first, the right to be heard. Let me translate it. Uşaqların dinlənilmək hüquqları var. The right to a childhood. Uşaqların uşaqlıqlarını, yəni uşaqlığını yaşamaq hüququları var. The right to be educated. Uşaqların təhsil almaq hüququ var. The right to be healthy. Uşaqların sağlamlıq hüququ var. Sağlam olmaq hüququ var. The right to be treated fairly. Uşaqların düzgün, yəni bərabər, ədalətli davranılmaq hüququ var. Onlara ədalətli davranmaq lazımdır. And he has a ways how to make friends and children. To be a friend is so nice feeling for you, I think. And here is a quote about friendship. That the warmest and lasting friendships of life are forged in childhood. I would like to translate this quote for you. En yaxşı, en isti, en uzun davam edən. Dostluqlar adətən uşaqlıqda qazanılan dostluqlardır. Give smile to your friends. 
Here, the ways how to make friends. Give smile to your friends. Don't make an angry face. Say nice words to your friends. Don't forget to say thank you. Be a good friend. Our lesson is about all. Thank you for watching.